there's the rock. I'm gonna put this at the beginning of the video because I forgot to do kind of a, you know, an intro where I say, hey, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, comment and share. And then we'll be back right after this. in hooligans moto mike 805 here today is september 12th 2021 sunday and it is what time is it where's my clock 104 and we're uh, gonna just stick a little loop here uh probably the only part on the uh moto v log would just be on morrow road here i don't know if it'll even last till we get to morrow bay I wanted to do a, uh, a quick one for uh, next Saturday. This will be Saturday's video. I've already got Wednesday's shot recorded, edited, and uploaded. Set to drop Wednesday, 8 a.m. I think the 15th, September 15th. And that video was me taking Colby out to um, Oceano Dunes out over there in Pismo and uh, I was going to try to work with them on some some skills, some training uh, for the uh, on the Grom on riding a motorcycle but I didn't really uh, think that through uh, if you've ever ridden in the sand you'll know why that was probably a terrible idea I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> I, I, I you know been out there when I was a kid but usually on quads uh, rode friends motorcycles out there a couple times and it, it was a challenge but I had been riding for quite a while so not not too much of a challenge I mean it is hard and I don't know I, I guess I was thinking that down by the sand or down by the water I thought the sand would be packed a lot harder than it was I thought it'd be a lot easier for us to uh, go down there near the water where the sand was a little uh, a little harder and we could practice some drills down there and, but it wasn't I even let uh, I, I, put, I put the Grom tires down to like five pounds of air uh, and it still was just that tire rear tire was just spinning spinning and spinning so that, that was a, a bad spot to try to teach someone uh, how to ride a motorcycle we started the night before uh, at the condos the driveway for the condominiums where we live in is probably a couple hundred feet long. So we were practicing uh, getting familiar with the friction zone there and stopping and starting. Can't really practice any turning in there because I mean, actually he did, he was able to turn it without putting his feet down. And it's probably narrower than this two lane road here, the driveway for the condominium. So uh, he was doing pretty good by the end. I think what we're going to do next is there's a Kmart here in the Tascadero that went out of business about a year ago. It's a pretty decent sized parking lot. So I think maybe we'll go over there. I'll probably, uh, I'm not sure if we go over in the evening or uh, maybe on the weekend. There are a few other businesses in that parking lot, but I think if we stick over near where the Kmart was, it won't be too bad. And then there's also a pretty decent sized parking lot. Ooh, dead deer. Uh, there's a decent sized parking lot, uh, it's actually not a parking lot, it's a dirt lot where uh, people park to go ride their motorcycles in the riverbed. I don't, actually, I don't know if it's legal to ride your motorcycles over down the riverbed over there, but I, I see people parking over there and unloading their motorcycles all the time. But I thought maybe we could go over there one day and uh, just practice in the parking lot. It's a, it's a dirt like parking lot and it's pretty good size. Um, you know, I remember being a kid and you know, not really getting any grief from the cops when you're in a parking lot trying to, to learn how to drive. Um, I actually was stopped twice when I was between 16 and 18. Uh, once teaching, actually I was probably 18, 19. Once I was teaching my girlfriend how to drive a stick and the cops came and I told them what I was doing and they were fine with it, they left. They just said someone called because someone was kept driving around in circles in the parking lot, thought I looked suspicious. And same thing when I taught my sister how to drive, we were uh, in a parking lot and the cops came and just kind of, hey, what are you doing? And 
they left. I don't know if that would still be the case today or if that's how APD would be. Hopefully if they would be cool and not uh, you know, give you too much of a hassle. Uh, other than that, I don't know where it would be a really good place to try to take him to learn how to ride. Where there's, it, it, even if the dunes, it probably would, even if the sand would have been a good spot to ride, there was a lot of cars. Um, you probably need to go during the week if you want to ride out of the dunes and practice some some drills in the sand. Uh, there was just a ton of ton of cars out there. This is the only thing that sucks about taking this road, especially on the weekend. It's just all this damn traffic. And there is bad accidents on this road all the time, so I'm not gonna contribute by trying to pass like a moron. There was just one last week where they had to cut someone out with the jaws of life who got impatient and tried to pass and had a head-on collision. I think it ended up involving three vehicles. It's better to take this uh, during the week if you're just taking it for fun. Right now, it's a Sunday, one o'clock heavier than normal traffic on this road. I used to take this uh, sometimes when I worked in Cambria and I would come back on it so early or so late at night there was never anybody on it. That was nice. All right, so I decided we would take a little stroll down here by Morro Rock. I looked down and my, my shoelace was untied. So I'm gonna find a spot up here I can stop and pull over and tie my shoelace don't want to get my shoelaces stuck on the pegs Ooh, nice and cool feels like it's probably about 60 degrees right now I think it was about 80 when I left uh, a Tascadero not too bad a little warm with the jacket on but it's perfect here right now oh, I guess I could have just went right in there huh I'll go a little bit further here Man, a lot of cars down here. It is Sunday. It's the weekend. So that's one thing about the uh, weekend over here. There's just so many people. It was kind of nice when uh, you know I work graveyards, and one of my uh, days, you know, one day off during the week, you could come down here when there's no people. Also back in the day when I used to work in the restaurant business my days off were during the week so every, whenever we wanted to go on vacation it was nice because it was usually you know a weekday we want to take like a two-day trip to the beach and usually a lot less people a lot less crowded so that's a, a benefit of coming during the week except during the summer when uh, school's out it's kind of like this every day there's a the coast guard coming in there's the rock the BFR Moro Rock. So eh, I'll pull over up here in a minute and stop and get my shoe tied. Then I'm just gonna turn around and head back up uh, Highway One to 101, then back home. I always say it's gonna be a short video, and then by the time I end up editing it, it's like 15, 20 minutes long. So we'll see. I think it's gonna be a short video. I'm not sure how much I actually talked to put in a Moto Vlog. Here we'll go down here. Stop and uh, yeah, go over here by this rock and tie my shoe. A little bumpy. This is definitely not an off road vehicle. Go tie my shoe over here. Oh, let's see. oh wait a minute, what's this? <laughs> Another letter out in the middle of nowhere. Actually, this is in the middle of nowhere. I've got a letter here waiting for me at the rock. Bagger on a budget. Let's see what we got here. See, we've got a little little note in here. We got Mike. Thanks for putting out quality content. 
Enclosed are a couple of my El Cheapo stickers, LOL. Thanks for subbing to my channel. Sean, back on the budget. All right, see what Sean's got. Hey, this is cool. So we got UCM Pigs, bagger on a budget. Right on. Thank you, Sean. If you haven't already, make sure you go check out Sean's channel, UCM Pigs, bagger on a budget. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. Let him know Moto Mike sent you over there. And Sean, you're going to have to tell me, how'd you get this letter out here under this rock? That's pretty cool. So, got the marine layer coming in. Nice. Looks like it's just hitting the top of the smokestacks there. Well, shoes tied. We'll get back on and, and head back home. Big rock. I'll see if we can get it out of the dirt without losing it. I just noticed I've got sand on my other GoPro that's facing me. That's the one I took to the beach. I guess I should probably clean that off there. It was down uh, near the sand. All right, YouTube. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. I really do think this is going to be a short video. I'm not positive. I think it is. Hey, what do you guys think about the new mail call format? I've, I've only gotten positive responses so far. I kind of like it. I, I like sticking one in, in here so I can do, you know, one on the ride instead of sitting down at my house and you just staring at me sitting on my couch. Uh, opening uh, mail so I think I'll keep doing this for a bit unless uh, I start to get some real negative response maybe we'll think about changing it up uh, anyways uh, as always YouTube thank you very much for watching please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that thumbs up comment share and uh, remember ride like everyone is a hired assassin trying to kill you Stay safe out there, YouTube. Peace.